How's it going, everybody? It is December 9th. And what I want to do today is have a real talk with uh, with you guys. Here's here's the reason. And I'm going to go over some of the comments over the last... I've, I've picked out a few of my favorites over the last uh, probably 10 days. And th there's a bit of a theme here that I wanted to address. And, and especially... Uh, for for newer people, I think people that have been in this business uh, for at least a couple of years kind of understand the ups and downs and, and have dealt with, you know, disappointment and uh, uh, have gone through the, the whole cycle of expectations versus reality. Uh, and, and that's kind of what I want to talk about, because so often and I've talked about this before, I think I've talked about this topic the most. If I'm not doing like a sales update, this is what I'm talking about is is the impression that we get online especially on youtube uh that that once you get your merch account approved that you're in the money that you're making money no matter what and that's not the case the point that i'm going to make is that this is a business and you have to run it like any other business that you would in the world and and if you want to make the amounts of money that, that people are talking about online, the people that are selling you programs and, and you know, their plan and, and you know, step-by-step -step instructions on how to make a thousand, hundred thousand dollars within the first year. Uh, there's, a, there's an agenda, there's a reality to that whole business and industry. You, you have to run it like a business and and that that involves uh time investment it, it involves research it involves design it involves failure all that kind of stuff it's not given to you you don't just put a product up on on amazon and get sales the the people that you're the videos that you're watching the people these are people that have that are in tears hundred thousand two hundred thousand uh and, and they're making a few thousand bucks a month in profit, sometimes a lot more. They're putting in thousands of dollars in, in uh, advertising. They're, they're doing so much more than what they're telling you because it's so cool to put out a video where, you know, somebody says, hey, check this out. I made $5,000 in profits this month, right? But they forget to tell you that they have 7 million products up on Amazon. Right, that that for every uh, design that they have, and sometimes it's a hundred thousand designs, they have uh, sixty-six products live. So these are the kinds of things that you have to understand because that's the reality. You don't want to run a business in the dream world. What you want to do is actually be real and and deal with those things in a very strategic, professional way. So let's look at some of these comments because some of these comments. I would hate for you guys to get uh, demotivated, like not be motivated because of, of something that you see uh, online, because somebody's like hyped you up so much. And then, for example, you see my sales or other people that are in similar situations as me and, and you get uh, discouraged, right? There is a difference between somebody selling something to you and then somebody like me who is who is telling you, listen, I've, I've started with zero experience. I didn't even know what print on demand was a couple of years ago. Now I'm running multiple platforms and merch happens to be one of them. So, so here's, here's a comment. This just came in and it, it, I was kind of like, okay, because there were a few comments over the last couple of days that I noticed and I was like, ah, that's too bad that these people feel this way. But, but then I was like, you know what, let's talk about it. We, we got to talk about this. So this, this comment is actually very fair, right? It says, I'm kind of disappointed, to be honest. I'm trying to tear up, but knowing that tier 20,000 and the profit is kind of low is not motivational at all. I thought it's possible to get at least $1,000 in the, in the 4,000 tier and 10,000 tiers, not in Christmas. You know what? It's absolutely possible. Do not ever think that it's not, right? My results are very different from everybody else's there's going to be a difference between somebody like myself who considers this to actually be passive income, meaning I do half an hour to an hour of work uh, on merch every single day, uh, sometimes not even that much. And 
for example, like I said, just because I'm in tier 20,000 doesn't mean that I necessarily have 20 years of experience, right? Uh, I was fortunate enough to skip a tier. I would just now be eligible for, for tier 20,000, even though I was tiered up, I think, about a year ago. You have to understand that the first year, first maybe two years of, of working with merch, I, I didn't even like my when I go back to and look at my designs, it's it's embarrassing, right? Because I would never put out those designs now. So not only is this a learning process, uh, it's it's also you're you're testing things out. You have to consider uh, your your skill level and experience level. You're not going to go apply for a job at a company and, and say, hey, just because I am 50 years old, uh, I'm expecting to make this amount of money. No. How much experience do you have? Do you have any direct experience? Do you have di experience researching, advertising? Uh, I, I don't even know what else. Like there's so much other stuff that you can do. But that's the question. How much time are you willing to invest? And what's a good return to you? So when you're saying, for example, you know, $1,000 just because you're in tier uh, 4,000, th that to me makes, there's zero connection there because there are people in tier, you know, 500 or 1,000 that are probably making $10,000 a month in sales, right? Uh, or in profits. They're running ads, they're running ads on Facebook, Instagram, everywhere else. Uh, they, they know what they're doing, their designs are amazing, uh, a lot of other things, right? So do not be disappointed, do not be discouraged. You have to make this your thing. It, it has to be, you know, something that you're passionate about. And if you're just chasing money, this this definitely is not the business for you. Let's talk about this one. This is actually very similar. I don't understand how you make so few sales with uh, with tier 20,000. Is it born and other brands stealing your best sellers? Possibly, possibly not. Maybe my, my designs suck. Maybe they're amazing and there are copycats. All of that has to be taken into consideration. And just because I'm in tier 20,000, I right now I have... Uh, 13,000 uh, designs live. But again, if you look at those 13,000, I would say that, you know, almost 7,000 are probably crap, right? Also, I'm not running any ads. Uh, for example, like just because I'm in tier 20,000 doesn't mean that, that I have 20,000 different designs. Maybe I've reposted a, a design, you know, under, under different... Uh, brand names and titles and all that kind of stuff. I didn't. I'm just saying that this number is so irrelevant. I actually did another video, compared my sales in tier 20,000 with somebody in tier 200,000. And if we're doing like basic math where people are expecting, okay, if you're in tier 20,000, then that person in tier 200,000 should be making 10 times more than you. They weren't. It, the math doesn't work that way. This is competitive. You have to stand out this is that's what i'm saying like if you're just looking at tears which is exactly what i did years ago i honestly thought i was going to quit my job maybe like three years ago because i was like i'm tearing up to tier 1000 and these people on on youtube told me that i'm going to be so successful right deal with reality within the real world there's an agenda that people have where they want to hype you up right so so just run it as a business make sure that you understand that no matter what tier you're in, it's the quality of your designs. It's actually breaking through. It's pushing them with, with ads to the front page. Uh, and, and then you won't get comments like this because, you know, Phil here is saying Merch by Amazon is dead. I, I disagree. Like, for example, some people might think that my sales are amazing. Some people might think that my sales suck, right? But it's it's all on me. Like, to, to me, like, even if I, if I was seeing, like, okay, saying... Merch is having its own problems and, uh, you know, the, the, or maybe this is just a bad year with economy and, and sales drop. Yeah, th take that for what it is and deal with those things. But that's my attitude. A lot of other people just would give up. And that's I don't want you guys to to do that. I actually want you to to realize that there's a lot of opportunity here. Uh, this comment actually motivated me and I'm, I'm going to change my structure a little bit because th I think this is amazing. So I was I was thinking about introducing a, a new strategy because what I've done in 2022 this year uh, has actually worked and, and it might not reflect 
uh, in some of the merch sales, but overall, because I, 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 when I talk about, you know, it's, it's worked, I, I talk about all my platforms and the strategy that I've implemented, I would say over the last maybe five months has worked in, in an amazing way where I've made a lot more money than, than I did the year before and the year before and so on. Um, so, so I have to continue that, but I also have to address things. I, of course I want growth and, and I want to make more money. So, you know, I read that business, uh, that a business should allow at least 25% of revenue for marketing budget. Amazing. You know, I try to follow this strategy and I actually remember you, uh, mentioning that, uh, that your, your sales have skyrocketed in, uh, in December, maybe even November, um, and, and as, as a result of this, so that's that's perfect. And of course, th like this makes sense. But how many people are willing to take, like, let's say, if, if they make a, a thousand bucks in royalties, uh, you know, 250 of those dollars and, and put them into ads? Not a lot. But again, if this is what you have to do uh, to make more money, it's it's an easy step. Right. So so this kind of attitude I, I actually uh, like. And, and then there's an additional comment here, basically, with the mask mandate lifted. In, in this area, I noticed more people are shopping in, in real sh stores. I, I think the online shopping has shifted again, and, like it did in 2020, 2021. However, not at e-commerce favor. So it's basically, you know, going to, to physical stores and not what we're offering here. So there are a lot of things to consider. I'll, I'll go just through two more. Um, and Brian here, because I, I put out a video, I was talking about how my sales... Uh, 2022 versus no 2021 versus 2022 sales have pretty much stayed the same on merch uh, but I did have a thousand sales less in the US but but then you know a thousand sales more across the other marketplaces so Brian here says I have a similar story I'm currently down a thousand sales in the US I was at 8,000 sales at this time last year but I'm currently at 7,000 US sales my international market sales are helping, but I expect to end up with three to four thousand dollars less for the year. Unfortunately, until the economy gets better, I think last year was uh, variation. But it, uh, if we keep uh, adding new designs, hopefully we can improve on our 2022 numbers next year. And exactly. That's kind of how I feel. We, we really have to realize that some of these things are out of our control. Some of these things are within our control. And it's always the question, how much time are you willing to, to invest? Um, uh, how much money are you willing to invest in your, in your business? How serious are you going to be um, with your business? And, and so on, right? And then the last thing here that I was talking about, just if, if uh, I put out a question, if, if Amazon, uh, merch uh, by Amazon specifically, has some kind of a, like a rating or a, a account uh, health performance system and this person uh, basically came back very direct which I, I respect and agree with and basically says let me ask you this do you really think that Amazon who has the second biggest search engine in the world uh, that collects and, and collates data about every aspect of use of its platform and and got where it is by making uh, this the smoothest customer experience of all time doesn't have a system in place that either by design or by product uh, sorts sellers by some kind of a a qualitative aspect. I completely agree. The answer is they most certainly do. Uh, this will be one of the many realms of, of data they collect, store and update without privilege, privileging buyers or sellers to it, which I completely agree. And and I of course I knew that I wanted to get that discussion going. And the the reason I'm putting this comment is because it adds to everything that I said. So to the person, for example, up here, uh, Maybe maybe I have a, a way more rejections than than you will, so don't get discouraged. Maybe uh, maybe I have uh, more returns than an average seller. Maybe you won't, right? So never compare yourself uh, to somebody, especially online, uh, because like I said, like even even I could be making stuff up, which I'm not, but I'm just saying, like for the the, the sense of this argument. But but a lot of people out there they are going to put the most positive information in front of you. And b because, again, keep in mind, this, this is a, a business. Also, YouTube is a business. It just happens that I don't make any money on YouTube, but a lot of people do, right? So it's, it's in their best interest to actually put the best, the most amazing 
numbers in front of you and not talk about reality, not talk about the struggles. Think about the, how many uh, videos you see are, are positive information versus negative information. When I got into into trading and investing, uh, nobody wanted to talk about the, the red days when people were actually losing money. But that's all part of the process. If you're not talking about the red days and, and your losses, you will never actually get better. But if you, if you look at videos online, everything is positive. Everything's amazing. Everything gets better if you just use this tool, if you use this software, right? Uh, so I, I just want everybody to be aware of that. Uh, that's it. I, I really, like I said from the, the, the get-go, like even when I created this channel, I really uh, am doing it to, to share information, especially with newer people so that you guys don't make the same mistakes that I did just so you don't get so hyped up and then get discouraged or get discouraged so quickly that you don't uh, put your best work into this, right? So anyways, I, I hope this is helpful. Let me know how you guys feel about about all this and, and hopefully you guys uh, never give up because I definitely wouldn't and, and won't. So yeah, let's do this together. Let's get ready for 2023 and I'll talk to you guys soon.